Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how to fetch row and column count in case of a web table using Tosca automation tool. So we often come across scenarios uh, where we have a web table. So I'm using this automation mock website globalsqa.com. I'll put this link in the description. You can use this if you want to try it out. I'm just using bank manager login. I'm clicking on customers. So here you see this is a table, right? So how to get the row count and column count so that we can manipulate that and uh, perform operations as we desire right so let's take a look into that first quickly i'll move to the module section and i'll create a module so i'll click on application and i'll fetch the properties now since we are just trying to understand row count and column count, I am going to focus on that only. So I will click on scan here. And I will select the table here and I will click on highlight. So usually you will be able to see this kind of uh, data is being populated on a website. It is coming as table. There may be chances that they have structured in some other way uh, in a div format and all but then it would not work in this way so if we are getting in the table formats uh, it would be very easy for us to get the row count and column count so all i'll do is i'll just uh, rename this to maybe table and i'll just save this once my module is created i will pull this to my test case now here i've already created an empty test case fetching row count and column count so i'll put it here okay now since we are going to do two activities i will just make a copy of this okay and here i can write fetching row count and here i'll write fetching column count Now it's very easy in case of Tosca because uh, we have an inbuilt function which we can use. Okay, so what happens is this is the table from which we want to fetch the row or column, right? So if we are fetching the row or column, we have to save it somewhere, right? So that we can reuse or perform operations accordingly, right? So we are going to save that somewhere. So that's why we use the action mode buffer here. I can use the action mode buffer, and here. I have an inbuilt function called row count okay and I will give it some name so uh, any buffer name so I can maybe write uh, number of number of rows okay and I'll click out of it okay now you see uh, it is not taking the proper format okay now this is incorrect I have just shown this to showcase it so if I click on this you'll see both of these portions are coming here okay while if you'll click on this you'll see only four properties that does not mean that we can use only four properties we can use uh, whatever other properties are there okay so what i'll do is i will move this row count from here and i'll put it in this side or there's an alternate way i could have written uh, with a dot format there okay and i'll remove this arrow because the moment it is buffer, it understands that it is doing an assignment. So this arrow will come into picture. Okay. Now you see it is recognizing this. Same way, if I want to fetch the columns, I need to mention column count. So we'll go with that dot thing. I'll put that this column count and whatever name I want. So I can put this and I can put, uh, let's say, number of columns. Okay. Now if i'll change this to buffer again it is not taking so let me just so this is because i have given this so let me move this and just move this this side now i don't need dot because it will already take dot on this side so i'll remove this dot now i'll click out of it so you can use row count and column count functions to extract it now let's see if this actually works or not so we have one, two, three, four, five, three and three, six rows and we have three and four, five columns. So that is what we should be getting. Let's run and see if it actually works.
now once we are able to fetch the values then we can manipulate very easily how to work with this web table right but since we are focusing just how to get this i'm not going to go into that detail now so let's see the number of rows has been set to six and the number of column has been set to five this is what we were expecting one two three four five six and one two three four five now in case you need a video detailed video on how to work with web tables let me know into the comment section and i will uh, work on that and i'll launch that uh, in upcoming time thank you very much and have a great day bye bye